We're just one day out from the coveted third annual Pup Bowl here at the Mount Pleasant Town Center and News 2 got a special preview from the Charleston Animal Society on which players to watch. Our first pup on the roster is Chico, a two-month-old black terrier American Staffordshire mix. Chico's main advantage in this bowl are his big eyes, allowing him to see all of his opponents. Next up is Chico's sister Wendy, a two-month-old black and brindle terrier American Staffordshire mix. Wendy believes that if you are the ball, you can win the bowl. And the final of the siblings is Ranger, the two-month-old black and white terrier, also American Staffordshire mix. Ranger is known for his speed, but his direction may disrupt his ability. Then there's Lollipop and Bonita, the two six-month-old tan and white hound mix is literally tied at the hip, making them their own team. Moving on to our legend pup, Ernie, a two-year-old tan terrier mix whose calmness may take the game by storm. And our pup to watch, Paisley, a seven-month-old chocolate lab mix whose energy may win her the MVP title. According to Kay Hyman with the Charleston Animal Society, she says this event is definitely one you'll want to attend. The puppies will be playing on a giant football field. Um, we'll make announcements when the different teams are getting ready to come out, and um, then they will be available for adoption. As for what kind of calls you can expect to hear on the field, Emily Curvady, an official pup bull referee, breaks it down. Um, unnecessary rough play. We have also seen false starts, which is when they may have to take care, take a nature break on the field. We have seen um, excessive cuteness on a regular basis, which really is a 10 yard penalty. And we've also seen illegal motion. And while the bowl is all about fun and games, it's also about finding these animals their forever homes. And while typical adoptions require interviews, the Charleston Animal Society assures their vetting will still be as rigorous. Our adoption counselors will talk to people when they're adopting to make sure it's going to be a good fit. But it's kind of like marriages. Um, they don't always work out, and if it doesn't, we'll be here for that animal. You can see all these pups and legends and potentially adopt them at 12 p.m. tomorrow. And remember, at the Pup Bowl, every adoption is a touchdown. In Mount Pleasant, I'm Kate Prestak. Count on two.